All right, let's get a check on what's happening in the crypto market now. We see uh, it's the Friday um, trading, and uh, yeah, Bitcoin making some kind of recovery, 1.08%, 67,804 points, uh, $804. Uh, Ethereum, $2,539, up 0.34%. So we're seeing mostly green on the screen with um, some pockets of, of red. Let's look at the sentiments in the market. How are investors feeling? Are they feeling confident uh, right there? No, so it's neutral. 56 points, that's the fear greed index. Um, some investors used to find entry and exit um, into most of these markets. Then we see the top cryptocurrencies you track. Uh, we see most of those uh, with, with Bitcoin and likes of uh, Binance and uh, Binance Coin and all of that. I'm not looking so bad. Uh, Cardano up 0.01%, but uh, XRP is going the opposite direction, um, down about 0.33% at 52 cents. Let's look at some um, headlines in the market. Now we see Bitcoin uh, has added 297 new whales. So Bitcoin whales are on the rise after a new wallet holding more than 100 Bitcoins. So an uptick in the past two weeks. Uh, that's catalyzed by growing uh, prices and positive sentiments. Data from uh, sentiment um, showed that this bullish scenario uh, saw the network um, add about 297 new Bitcoin whales in 14 days. So I guess if you have over 100 Bitcoins, then you fall into that category. Then NFT trading on Telegram, that's um, surge. Uh, NFT trading, uh, that's according to Helica's uh, Web3 Gaming report for the third quarter of 2024, that shows the number of wallet addresses trading NFTs on the TON network uh, spiked uh, past the quarter in July. Um, daily NFT trading addresses numbered below 200,000, but surged to over 1 million by September. Now we see Binance is delisting about four altcoins. They announced the delisting of um, trading pairs for Rupia token, uh, Keeper, uh, Uki protocol and um, Unify protocol DAO, that's um, Unify uh, specifically. So, you know, most of the time, you know, Binance, they have to delist, you know, some of these um, coins. Hopefully, you're not holding any of them because the prices normally plummet uh, when you hear about the listings. Uh, let's bring in Olumide Addition on our financial market uh, analyst. Uh, hello, Olumide. So, looking at Bitcoin uh, price performance um, this week, uh, I'm sure most of the bulls are. Would be happy, you know, so far this week. Uh, but Ladi, I think is uh, look at um, the crypto market fundamental. I think is mixed bag. Uh, look at um, a tech giant, uh, Microsoft, saying that uh, they won't consider holding uh, Bitcoin because of its volatility. I recall that uh, we have certain um, like corporations like Tesla and MicroStrategy having a statue of Bitcoin. So that kind of news tells you the concern uh, large investors are having. But uh, that being said, Bitcoin dominance is about three months high, and that is very uh, that is very uh, concerning. Meaning that altcoins are less impressive. So while we see the appetite for risk high in the stock market, it's um, been at uh, compromised levels in uh, the crypto market. Right. So uh, I think uh, practically, I think uh, for the bulls in um, in the Bitcoin market, they're waiting all out for. U.S. election. Right. And, you know, looking at most of, you know, the listed companies, you know, in Nigeria, you know, coming from the consumer goods um, side, we've seen the likes of Nigeria breweries. They did announce, uh, they, they did report uh, Forex um, losses that actually increased, you know, compared to um, the same period last year. So, you know, when you see all these other companies, you know, trying to add Bitcoin into their balance sheet, do you think, you know, Bitcoin could be that hedge for foreign currency losses, you know, in a country like Nigeria? Well, it, it doesn't look so large because uh, if you look at, despite Bitcoin year to date, moving above 42 percent, uh, one would tell you that uh, the preferred choice for institutional investors is gold. Uh, from central banks to large scale uh, investors, uh, the stability gold brings and uh, the acceptance in traditional finance you can't be compared to Bitcoin. However, Bitcoin is an asset that is evolving. And um, I think uh, with regulation coming in, at some point, we might see it playing in Nigeria. Don't forget that we have um, certain banks, um, particularly tier two banks like Sterling, having exposure in blockchain technology. Also, the likes of InterSwitch are trying to couple into blockchain technology, bringing services near to the Nigerian financial ecosystem. So it's something that might be a possibility in the future, but uh, with present uh, parabolic uh, situation and the Naira, it's something I don't see coming under President Tunubu's administration.
So do you think some of these companies should buy gold at this point? Definitely, I think some companies are already holding, uh, have indirect exposure. Don't forget, we have gold um, listed in the uh, stock market in form of ETFs. And also uh, companies that are exposed to gold, like Japan Gold. Yeah, I think uh, we already have institutional investors exposed to that asset. Right. And, you know, we, we did see, you know, gold has had a monster run, you know, at this point. Do you still see this run getting to about $3,000? Is that possible? It's a possible a possibility, especially if the Iranian-Israeli uh, conflict escalates. You know, um, the market is expecting a retaliation from Iran and uh, uh, sorry, from uh, Israel. And bookmakers are betting that if the Israelis hit the nuclear or oil installation, definitely my heart the Iranians bad, and that will heat up the policy. So uh, it's all about what happens in the Middle East and right. if Trump comes to power. You know? Right. I guess, you know, at the end of the day, they want peace in the Middle East. Thank you so much. Exactly. Thank you for having me. Always great yeah. having your perspective.